All right, guys, so what are we doing today? It's Thursday. We have a bracket race on Saturday, which we were supposed to race with this engine, but we ran into the oiling issue, and obviously there has been no time to get the engine out, which is not a big deal. Um, I got a couple of irons in the fire to take care of, but um, after uh, this weekend's race, uh, I'm going to kind of pick away at getting this out and, um, well, it, it depends. Um, the blocks at the machine shop, the sleeve is, I think it's already taken care of. Uh, he had the block board out to accept the sleeve and he needed to get pressed in. Um, I had to take in a rod, uh, so... If you guys, uh, I don't know if I did a video or not on that, but we took the, probably one of the better cores, and by better cores, I mean an engine that's been like untouched. Um, I pulled out four rods for him to have his pick, just in case if maybe one was out of, two out of round or something. So I took four out. Somebody is already taking this engine. Um, and I'm trying to get rid of everything, actually. So I'm, I'm probably going to make a deal and just let go of everything but the little two-barrel 7350 in the back. That's going to be for my buddy. We're going to get that running. Um, so either way, neither here nor there. This bitch is sitting. But we're actually going to race this. Uh, we can run a fill-in car in our class as long as I run my sportsman number. Um, I can run this in points. So we're going to run pretty slow. Um, I think the last time, the only person that's ever driven this car down the track has been my wife and it ran a 16 O in drive. Um, and that was with me riding shotgun and a really hard TA radial and a 308 gear. Uh, we've since put a 342 gear in it. We took some weight out of it. The car weighs about 3,700 pounds with me in it. Uh, it's got a nitto drag radial in the back. Um, uh, it's got an old engine that's been in service for quite a while. Uh, this engine was actually in my 72 at one point, and this engine ran 13 sevens. Um, and the car was about 3,500 pounds, and that was the 373 gear, 2400 stall, turbo 400 trans. Um, it was a happy fucking street car. Before we got into this 11 second shit, mm, Ah, don't get me wrong. It's been fun. We haven't had any issues up until this year. So really, I have nothing to complain about. It's just the nature of the beast. You're going to run into issues here and there. And this is my year, apparently. So um, we're going to take this to the track and just run it. Uh, so let me run down this engine combination. Because this engine is probably one of the best builds you can do for almost nothing. So I took a 73350 with like the nine to one compression pistons, the 14 CC pistons. Um, but the 73 low compression engine was like eight to one, but it's got the shallow dish pistons. So you use a set of earlier heads, like 72 heads or even a pair of threes or something. I, you just have to drill them out for the bigger, uh, head bolts. Um, but we got a set of, uh, 72 heads on a 73 short block. With a thin gasket making almost 9 to 1 compression with a 260H comp cam, which is like a towing cam. It's my favorite cam to put in a street strip near stock engine. It's got an Edelbrock Performer uh, intake, 600 CFM carb, full length headers, uh, adjustable rocker arms, uh, cloys, double roller, timing chain, nothing fancy, stock oiling system, all that jazz. It's nothing fancy at all. It's got an HEI, uh, and this car has always been pretty reliable. Um, so we're going to go run our points in this car and see how it goes. What I'm doing today is I'm going to get the car up on jack stands, just kind of go over everything between today and tomorrow night, and get it ready for Saturday. We're going to drive it to the track, run it, and come back home. So hopefully everything goes good. Um, you know, we, we're checking. You know, obviously we have an overflow, which is a track safety deal. 
Um, we got a battery with a hold down. That's also a safety deal. Um, you know, all of our fuel lines, everything is good. It's just stuff you need to check before you take your car to the track to make sure it's going to pass tech. Um, and uh, the main reason I am putting it up on Jackson's actually is because I got like a weird clunk on D-cell. I think the transmission mount uh, is busted in this thing. Uh, but I have a new one here actually sitting on my toolbox that I've had forever. But uh, yeah, so we're going to get this thing ready. And that's kind of today's update. I mean, that's that's the rundown. Oh, yeah, it's got a Turbo 350 transmission I built like six years ago with a Jegs 2200 stall converter. Uh, this thing will like barely spin the tires, but it's a really fun car on the street. It's not the fastest. It's got enough pep to get out of its way. It sounds good. You know, it, it people think it's fast because it kind of looks fast, but it's, it's not. It's just a really fun street car. Um, that's what this car has kind of always been. Uh, it's kind of why I don't want to race it, you know. Um, I want to keep a street car in the house. So with that being said, I'll let you guys go. Share, like, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram as Copper Cutlass. And you guys know the deal, man. Uh, just uh, stick it out because we're between this and putting that back together. We're going to be busy in the next month or so. But I have to get that hood painted. So hopefully Sunday I'll get that primed up and then I got to fix my buddy Dave's car as well. Um, but we got like almost a month and a half between this race and the next race. So we're going to have plenty of time to get stuff done and get some work in. So we're going to be plenty busy here. So I'll let you guys go.